Good morning and welcome to Latina in the Kitchen. My name is Esmeralda and today we're going to start with our first recipe in the channel and I couldn't be more excited. We are going to do red chilaquiles, a classic Mexican dish. A tortilla chip soaked in flavorful this sauce. This recipe comes together very quickly and is best served when it's hot. So be sure to have every ingredient ready before you start cooking. So let's get started. I want to share with you the ingredients. Here we have about 12 corn tortillas, or as many tortillas as you need. We're going to need three tomatoes, three garlic cloves, five or six chiles rojos de arbol, and we have two chiles guajillos. You're also going to need your favorite cheese. Here I have cacique. We're going to need a little bit of salt, cilantro, avocado, and oil. So we're going to start making the sauce. Put a pot with water to boil and we are going to add these clean tomatoes that I rinsed before adding to this water. We're also going to add three cloves of garlic. We're also going to add the chiles de arbol. We're going to let this start and we're going to give it five minutes but for now we're going to remove the seeds from the guajillo chilies. And we're gonna do the same with this one. We're just gonna remove the top part and we're gonna open it a little bit just to help us remove the seeds. So it's gonna look like this. And like I said, we're gonna give this five minutes. After five minutes, we're gonna add these two chilies onto the boiling water. In a skillet over medium heat, we're gonna add some oil. While the pan starts to heat up, we are going to start by cutting the tortilla in a triangle. So what I like to do is just grab a stack of tortillas, cut them in half, and then we're gonna cut like triangles. And we're gonna do the same thing for the tortillas that we have here that we're gonna cook. boiling pot so it's obviously it's boiling already so we're gonna add the guajillo chiles for only two minutes and then we are going to turn off the heat once the oil is hot we're going to add the tortillas in two small batches if needed so that we do not overcrowd the pan So as you can see, it's time to turn off our chili. And we are gonna set them aside, pull out your blender, and we're gonna let this rest so it's not so hot. So after a few minutes of turning them, what we're looking for is for a golden brown color. And so we're gonna give it another minute or two. Meantime, I'm gonna pull out a pan and I'm gonna add some napkins. At this point, they're golden, they're very crispy, and they're ready to come out. Move them and then we're gonna put them on a napkin to remove any excess oil. So we're gonna add our second batch and we're gonna repeat the process. So back to making the sauce, we are going to add everything that we boiled in this pot, which is our, the tomatoes, the guajillo, the chile de arbol, and we are going to blend it together with our garlic cloves. We are gonna add salt to taste, and we are going to add a little bit of this water, and I wanna mention, that's good. And I want to mention that this water is still hot because that's where we boiled our ingredients. You want to be very careful when you're blending. Okay. 
And by careful, I mean we want to place a towel on top of the top of your blender just to be safe. You want to taste your sauce to make sure it doesn't need any more salt. In my case, it needs an, another little pinch of salt. So now that we have our sauce blended, we're gonna set it aside and we're gonna come back to these chips that we're making and we wanna make sure that we turn them. As soon as they get that golden color, we are going to remove them. done and they are crispy they're golden and so now you want to add another pan or remove the excess oil where we were frying these tortillas but do leave like a small maybe teaspoon of oil so we can cook the salsa so you're gonna want to lower your heat we already have a teaspoon of oil and we are going to add this salsa into the pan And I always love to add some dry parsley just to give it that beautiful color. Bring it to a gentle simmer, approximately two minutes. After those two minutes that the sauce has been simmering, we are going to toss in into the skillet gently the tortilla chips. to gently toss them until all of the chips are coated in the sauce. So depending on how you like your chilaquiles, if you want the chips to be soft or to stay a little hard, I prefer mine slightly tender but still kind of crispy so at this point I'm going to turn off the If you heat. want yours to be a little bit softer just cover the pan with the lid for two minutes. Our chilaquiles are done so, so please, please join me so we can add generous cheese. The chips can get soggy over time, so make sure that you serve your chilaquiles right away. And also, please let me know how your chilaquiles turned out in the comments below. I'm going to be reading them all. Remember to subscribe, leave a like, and thank you very much if you guys made it to this point of the video. I will see you on the next recipe. Ciao!